All right, welcome back, welcome back. To wrap up the handguns for Resident Evil 4 Remake, the uh, gun comparison, we are moving on to the Sentinel-9. Now, this handgun you get as an exclusive deluxe edition when you get the Resident Evil 4 Remake version. Now, the Sentinel-9, you could access it when you start a game. You go into your storage and the typewriter, and it will be right there for you to pick up. Fully customized handgun, tackling bioterrorism, accuracy and versatility makes it a reliable choice. When you have the power all the way up to max, it's at 1.90, which is similar to the Punisher. It has an ammo capacity of 31, so it reminds people of the Matilda. It just has one bullet more. It has a reload speed that's similar to the Red 9, and it has a fire rate similar to the Punisher, only slightly higher. Now... Tackling this weapon from mid to late game, I would say it's a reliable weapon to have because of the ammo capacity and the fire rate so you're able to keep mobs off of you. And if you're able to land your headshots, it has a five times critical hit when you get it to its exclusive version. So it can hold up when it comes to enemies and it can keep them off of you because of its ammo capacity being so high and the fire rate will be able to keep them off of you. Now... This weapon here, comparing it to other pistols in the game, I would say it can hold up. Of course, people say the Matilda is stronger in terms of firepower. But since this weapon has a five times critical hit ratio, which is standard for the standard weapon as well, it can keep up with other pistols in the game. Now, of course, the Red 9, however, is straight up firepower, so... The Red Knight will blow it out of the water. The Punisher, it has the uh, the five times uh, penetration going through five enemies. You also have uh, the Matilda, which has the ammo capacity when you get it to its exclusive version, making it to 60. So the Sentinel-9 fits well in terms of power, capacity, and reload, and fire rate. It has comparisons to other pistols in the game as well so that's why the sentinel 9 can hold up but in terms of late game i would say yes some people prefer other weapons i like to use it but starting off the game going into the castle yeah i would say keep it yeah i would say keep it if you're going for the uh black tail or if you're keeping the red nine cool but if you're rocking other weapons they're not much different than the Sentinel-9. So if you have the Sentinel-9, keep it. It's a good pistol. And it has that five-time critical hit ratio, so you could be popping heads. So you'll be safe with this weapon. You'll be safe. 